I'd posted a Marathi video on risks and benefits of Kumbh Mela. Some people said you are a doctor and you are saying taking a dip at such a crowded place will improve your health. Are you pushing superstition? There are benefits, scientific. Let's come to that in a second. Let's first look at the risks. Some of the claims are not really true. Ganga's water is more alkaline than other rivers. Big deal. You take any water and add a teaspoonful of baking soda and that water is now more alkaline than Ganga. Ganga's water has minerals, but now it also has pollutants. Ganga's water has bacteriophages, the bacteria that eat other viruses. But you can take a glass of water and filter it or boil it. And there are risks with crowd, right? Because of that, say, polluted water, can it cause skin cancer? Chance is low. Can it cause fecal coliform bacteria disease like bacteria like Salmonella, Typhi, Shigella, Campylobacter, jejuni that can lead to Giabare in some, yes, Vibrio cholera. It is possible viruses like noroviruses, respiratory viruses because of the crowd like COVID, like flu, bacterial diseases like mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is more prevalent in poor people. It's more likely to be partially treated and drug resistant. They can give it to each other. Yes, all those risks are possible. But all those risks are associated with any crowd. There are pilgrimages in all parts of the world. There are sports pilgrimage where soccer fans congregate. And crowd means India, right? That's what builds our herd immunity. So what could be some real benefit? Since the inception of human race, we are besieged by this fear of unknown. What happens to you when you die? Some people feel they have committed sins and they will not get salvation. So if 1% or 0.1% of the 50 crore people who have taken the dip are liberated from this stress and that delays the onset of type 2 diabetes by 4 to 5 years, that will mean billions of dollars saved on healthcare costs. I'm not bringing religion here. I'm only, take, only talking about the scientific nature of belief that will reduce the stress-inducing hormone. And at times, what we call religion of our ancestors, maybe science, we are just not smart enough to understand it. I'd made a video in Cambodia about that. It's a good place to post it here. What is unimaginable for the rest of the world when sophistication meant having a warm meal, lighting a fire, owning a stone club, our ancestors were capable of this. The rebirth of Greek ideas led to Renaissance in Europe, which later fueled the Industrial Revolution. If Indians only look to the past and try to understand the ancient sciences of their ancestors, like Ayurveda and astrology, it will create a new revolution that will not only be material, but also spiritual, and India can lead the world. Dr. Ravi Gosses. When 